Chess gang, what up? Welcome back. D4. What's the right response to D4? I think I like knight f6 to D4. Could always go England and Gambit, but I don't really know the line that well. So I'm just going to play knight f6. I usually try to go for this. Uh... Oh, okay, he's playing uh, the London system. So I think we're going to try to harass this piece here. I'm almost tempted to go like c6. Hmm. Okay, what do I not like in the London system? I don't like when people get their knights out onto e4 or get their light square bishops out to. Yeah, I think that's what I don't like. I don't like when the light square bishop gets out to f5 and when the queen gets out to b6. Um, I don't think the dark square bishop is that important. Also, I do like trading off on d6 with a dark square bishop. I wonder which one is worse. Mm, let me think about this. I'm burning a lot of time here, but I can tell he's playing to London. I'm trying to figure out how to abuse it. Mm. Once I get his knight out into f5 or e5, I think I'm just going to go this way, play it safe. Trying to prevent e5. Also, I kind of just have to like harass these two squares. That seems to be the biggest annoyance in the London system. Yeah. We got the light square bishop out. Now we just got to get the dark square bishop and the queen out, I think. Yeah, see, so his bishop can't come back and protect c3 or b6. So we have to abuse that like as fast as possible. Yeah. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to play c5. <laughs> How do we want to do this? Playing some questionable moves here, I'll be honest. I need to go study up on how to uh, abuse the London system as black. I don't really get the chance to do it too often. That's why I'm kind of stumbling over my moves here. Um, but I need to get I need to get better at that. What's the one square that I hate? It's uh when the knight comes out to c two. How do I get my knight to c two? I think I have to. I think I have to get him to get rid of a c3 bishop, and then if I can get a knight out to c2, that's like the most annoying thing. Uh, I'm just going to try c5. I know this looks a little bit weird, but I kind of want him to weaken this pawn here. Weaken the d4 pawn. Actually, be kind of funny to just trade queens off, or would it? No, I kind of misplayed that. I, I misplayed that. I misplayed that. I do like bishop f5. The thing that I like about it, yeah, I think now's actually a decent time to get the knight out. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't take that. Yeah, I think he's going to run into some troubles by not taking that. 
because now, depending on which pawn he takes with, I can start to swing my knight over here to e4. Um, if he takes with c3, I can get my queen out here. Yeah, so there's going to be some ideas. going to be some ideas here. Hmm. He might try to take, even if he takes with the knight, I'll just fall back to g6. I'm just hoping he takes with c3 here. That's, that's kind of mainly just what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay, so I think I'll be in a good spot now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force him to do some things that he probably didn't want to do otherwise. Man, I really wish I would have gotten my bishop out here, but let me think about this. How do I get my knight out here? Uh, I cannot draw my arrows today. I can either try to play th <laughs> three knight moves, or I can just go for the check, and it'll force him to get his queen out, which will like not be great for him. So I think I'm just going to look for the check. Or do I want to do that? Hmm. Queen a5. Not really gaining anything by doing it as a thing. I think I'm just going to play a knight move. I think I'll look for b4 next. b4 is going to be a really annoying move. He basically has to bring his queen out to protect it. Oh, okay, so he just pins the knight. Hmm. Yeah, we could like trade queens off here. That'd be pretty annoying. I actually don't mind the queen trade. I'd rather get my knight out and then I can start harassing stuff. Yeah, I don't mind the queen trade at all here. Hmm. Hmm. Queen trade. That's an interesting idea. I was hoping to get my knight onto b4 so I could go c2 next. So that's going to disturb my plan a little bit. But I think in the long run, it's okay. So I wonder if there's a better way for me to. Hmm. Yeah. I could just try to castle and remove the pin, but even that, that's not that great. Uh, I'm just going to offer the queen trade and not waste too much time. I I've blown a lot of time in the first seven moves. I've blown five minutes, so it's really bad. But I think it's okay. Honestly, I would say it's kind of mission accomplished because we created this weak diagonal here, which is sort of the kryptonite of the London system, at least when I've played it. So I'm pretty sure he just hung his queen. Uh, maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm missing something. So did he just hang his queen? Am I, am I not seeing something here? Yeah, am I? Uh, am I just totally like? I I'm just gonna say that that was a misclick from him. Bit unfortunate. <laughs> I can continue to uh, pin his knight here. Well, I do like this square, I'll be honest. I guess I can pin this way, huh? I actually like the pin on the knight here. I think it's pretty good. And now I can still continue with my knight b4, c2 idea and getting the fork on the rook here. Yeah, he can't develop his knight, unfortunately. This knight is blocking this knight. 
Uh, if he comes over here to c3, I just take and I get... Uh, well, I don't think I win the rook. He can move it after that. He can just go to like b2 or something, but um, it'll still be winning. Yeah, so I'm going to look for knight b4, c2 next and just try to win his rook. I also have an escape square down here. It, honestly, it's a bit of a bummer that he hung his queen. Um, it's such a lame way to win. <laughs> well, I don't want to say I won yet, but it's just a... Yeah, okay, see, that's just really bad because it just hangs a knight. Um, yeah, and then he'll just move his rook. Uh, yeah, there's nothing he can do against this move. So I don't know, he's kind of just giving up pieces left and right. It's kind of odd. Um, yeah, that's fine. So I can still just go back to a5 and maintain the pin. I can go on the pawn hunt, like getting the a pawn here. I don't really think it's worth it, to be honest. Yeah, this is a really strange game. I'm I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> He's basically given up his queen and his knight. Um yeah, kinda weird. Kinda weird. Kind of weird, if you ask me. Yeah, he should have just went for the queen trade. It it would have still given him a, ch a chance in the long run. So I know I haven't like followed the principles this game of you know developing your pieces and castling. Um Okay. But let me just make sure that there's no obvious threats here. I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't I want to make sure that going on the queen hunt here, or sorry, the excuse me, the pawn hunt with the queen is not like a absolute waste of time. So I'm kind of tempted to just start trading pieces off. The one disservice that I have done is that this pawn is kind of weak. Um, I want to make sure I don't like trap my queen to it. So I want to. Make sure that this diagonal here is it's going to be safe. See, I want to push my pawn up so we can start trading off here. Um, I think I'm just going to go rook d1, or d8, excuse me. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is that I haven't really followed the principles this game. But I think it's okay, because usually when I'm on the other side of the board here and I play this exact same setup, I always have trouble with sort of these three squares. And it's where the majority of my losses come from. So I wanted to see if I could just try to kind of inflict the same pain on someone else. This is just to protect uh, d6. So if I were to push uh, e6, he doesn't have a free pawn here. And I'm just doing it so I can get my bishop out to e7. I honestly might want to go for knight b4, d3 here. Uh, just look for the check, go for the trade. Okay. 
So, kind of want to push e7. I guess I could just kick his light square bishop out. Then I could push that way. It's probably not the end of the world. It's protected by the queen and the knight. I actually like that move. He can't go here. He can't go here. I actually don't mind this move here. This allows me to push e6 as well. I think I could have I think I could have actually trapped his bishop right by going h5 knight h5 if he goes here take if he goes here take right maybe knight h5 was actually not a bad idea Yeah maybe I missed that it actually would have would have been really good if we had taken on uh g3 Also, I do kind of just have a free knight here at this point. I, I should have taken the knight. That was that was pretty dumb. But uh, yeah, this is still kind of a double attack, and he can't protect his knight. Uh, I should have taken the knight there. That was really dumb. He removed the defender from the knight. Uh, I should have done that. Yeah, yeah, I should have done that. Oh, well. Uh, if you want to trade off, I mean, another free piece? My guy, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Am I missing something here, man? Yeesh. What is going on, man? I wonder if this is a new player who's just made their account and sort of started at like the default ELO and is like playing now. Uh, I normally don't like look at people's accounts uh, during the game. But I think we have a little bit of time here. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell if this is someone that's like... I mean, it looks like they've been playing for a while. And they were able to climb up to like 875. But... It's like maybe they just haven't played in a while or something. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? There's a juicy rook hanging out right there. Let's see if he notices. You know what's one thing that's weird? Is that... I feel like I played some really difficult games when I was around like 750 and 770 even some games at like 740 i felt like i just played some really good opponents and i thought that when i would get into the mid 800s sort of the quality of the opponent would increase i mean i don't know how by exactly how much but i figured people would probably play like 20 percent better than they do at like 750 um but Okay, but what I've been finding, <clears throat> what I've been finding is that people don't play that much better in like the mid 800s than they do in the mid 700s. Uh, I was a bit surprised. I'd probably just take the knight here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's the one thing that's been really surprising to me as I've sort of crossed the 800 mark. Granted, like, so this is a weird game, and I had one opponent that abandoned. Um, one opponent that blundered a knight. But otherwise, yeah, there hasn't been like as much of a difference as I as I uh, thought there would be. I think ninety four is just winning. I could just take the rook next, but I mean I'm up eighteen. This is probably the biggest advantage that I've had ever, ever. <laughs> in this uh, climb to a thousand. You never know, he can come back. I do still regret not taking his knight on d2 after he castled. <laughs> that would have just been like a really good move. <laughs> I'm trying to get better about noticing that kind of stuff. But... Well, if I if he doesn't move his rook, I think he has to go like rook a1 or something like that. If he doesn't move his rook, it's basically mate in two. Because uh, bishop takes, king takes, and then king d, uh, queen d1, and it's it's just mate. Unless he pushes h3 or something like that, but I mean the position is just so lost at this point. Yeah, I wish he would. I wish he would have just taken the queen on a5 there at the beginning. That would have just been much better for him. Swap Nilgor, what's it going to be? Come on, dude. You're killing me, Swap Nilgore. You're killing me. Okay, well, that is a move, so that's good. Um. Okay, cool. We'll probably just need to... I mean, I guess this is getting pretty close to a mate here. Okay. I'm just going to look to take a f2 next. I think he's going to be forced to defend, unless he wants to move his king back. But if he moves his king back to h1, it's, it, it's, it's going to be really hard for him to come back. Honestly, probably could just like sack the queen at this point and still find a, still find a win. I could probably push like e6 and attack this rook here. Swap no gore 2525. What is it going to be?
Do, 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 do. He needs to push H3. At like a bare minimum. Yeah, just gave away too many pieces, man. That's the main problem here. Yeah, it's very resignable here. It needs to go either H3 or... Yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. I have the check here, and then I think I can just start to destroy his position. I'm going to be forced to move his king. I could just move the rook. Yeah. Honestly, probably could just go for the check here. <laughs> uh truth be told but i'm just gonna move the rook just just to play it safe hmm. now i could probably go check takes then i'd have to move like the light square bishop out and then just look for the maiden one but uh, i'm just gonna play it safe for fun Okay, check. Queen takes. Twenty two point advantage. That's something else, man. Yeah, queen takes, boom, mate. Uh, I need to take this pawn or this pawn. I wonder which one's faster. I think it's actually faster just to play. Uh, I wonder. Hmm. The... I'm just going to look for the maiden one. Yeah, okay. He did see that. That's good. I'm going to go attack his rook. I guess I could take his pawn here. Look for the check this way. Uh, I'm just going to attack his rook. I mean, I could just start eating up his whole board here. Uh, I'm just going to attack his rook here. Part of me wants to just hurl these pawns up the board. Just trying to think if there's something else I can do. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Queen H4 is just winning. Yeah, Queen H4 is just one. I don't think he has a way to get out of this except pushing. No, yeah, this is basically forced mate. If he moves his rook, I have maiden one. So. This is kind of a all hope is lost here. Yeah, queen h4, his king is trapped. 
And now his rooks are big old traitors. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, I'm not going to do the game review for this one. Just because the game was so one-sided. Um, honestly, I think the opponent was just really rusty and hasn't played in a while, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, so yeah, no game review, but yeah, all he had to do was just take, take. And it was at least somewhat even in this position. Um, and then, uh, I guess really the only big blunder I had was after the castle, there was queen takes knight on d2. Would have been a fine move. But yeah, GG. Swap Nelgord 2525. Um, just going to write this game off as a sort of a weird one. <laughs> it's been honestly the easiest game I've played in Rapid in probably the last two or three months. Um, so anyways, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next game.